guys welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new hi my name is Femke and in today's video I really wanted to do something special for world animal day October 4th I really really fell in love with some of those cow prints I saw like floating around on Instagram and just the whole entire internet and I just wanted to give it my own little twist so if you want to know how to make this with regular nail polishes on natural nails please keep on watching so first up i have already applied a base coat and my first layer of white i'm going to apply a second one to make it completely opaque and i'm using 33 wild white ways by essence for that it is super opaque it is a super fast drying nail polish as well it is vegan and cruelty free and it's just really really affordable so if you want to do try out and still are looking for a good white nail polish, definitely check this one out by Essence. It is just in their regular collection, almost like every store that sells Essence has this white polish. So yeah, just for 1 euro 70 I think or 169 or something and you're just good to go. I just really love this white polish. I actually bought like four um, backups from it because you never know when they're going to switch up their collections again and maybe like in spring 2020 they will switch it up again and it will be gone forever. So yeah, I always do so if I find a nail polish just like a basic white or a black or something like that i always buy multiples because yeah you can never have too many white or black nail polishes in my opinion but back to the design you just want to apply a beautiful opaque layer of white as your base we are going to do a cute cow print and of course i had to include the beautiful black and white like dutch frisian cows i just really had to do so and i also wanted to do some cute brown ones but if you have any polish on the skin just remove it with a brush and a little bit of acetone or nail polish remover before you go in with your spots so i am going to use the black is back polish by essence this is also from the shine less than go collection just like the white polish is we just apply to our nails and i'm just going to dot a little bit of that polish on one of my plates this is just a simple resin plate i got from aliexpress they have a ton of different colors and i'm going to use a dotting tool to make the cow spots you just want to wing it i'd say don't overthink it just apply some organic shaped looking spots <laughs> uh yeah i really really wanted to do black and white as i said like the beautiful dutch like frisian black and white cows are just my favorites cows are actually really really sweet and really smart as well you really don't want to mess with a cow because first of all they're like super heavy and they will definitely run you over if you're being a little a-hole so never be a little a-hole to cows or any animals or people for that instance um yeah cows are actually really really cute i grew up in like a very farm like town um like a lot of open fields and just corn fields and a lot of like farm animals like everywhere like horses sheep cows whatever um i just i think cows are just really sweet they have like the kindest eyes ever and yeah i just i really love animals if you weren't aware of that yet but you just want to apply a couple of like spots just apply as many or as little as you want i just wanted to apply at least about five or six dots really depending um how long your nails are of course and how big your spots are going to be and once again if you have any nail polish on the skin or the cuticle just remove it before the polish is completely dry but then for the brown cow spots, I just used two brown colors, which are also by Essence. This is almost like a fully Essence Cosmetics nail polish design. <laughs> of course, you don't have to use these specific polishes. You can go for any like similar colors from any other brand. Like just use what you have. You don't want to go out, especially for this design, to just get some polishes. Of course, if you don't have any black or white or brown 
do go out and get yourself some cool new polishes because these are just really really handy colors to have laying around especially if you like to do nail art like i do and especially if you like to do really easy nail art these polishes are really nice to just have in your collection but i am going to combine a lighter brown with a little bit more of a darker reddish brown because you know your beautiful white and brown cows have different tones of brown spots so you just want to play around with that a little bit of course you don't have to like make one spot with two colors you could also just do one spot in one color and just switch up the colors in between spots that's totally up to you how you want to do this i just apply my polish with a dotting tool if you don't have a dotting tool you could also use uh, like a toothpick or even like those little sewing needles with the ball thingies on top i think those are called ball top needles but i'm not sure <laughs> um you probably already have those laying around of course you can always use like the back of a pencil if that's not too big there are a ton of different like household items you can use to make nail art as well you don't really have to like own a ton of different um nail polish or nail art tools so yeah but just continue with your design, clean up wherever is necessary, and yeah, just go in with the colors you like. I decided to just do um, black on the thumb, middle finger, and pinky, and do the brown ones on the pointer finger as well as the ring finger. So this, like the rest of this design is pretty repetitive um, i'm just going to talk you through a little bit and just tell you a little fun fact about me regarding animals um, so i grew up in a house where we had a lot of like pets like all the time i can't remember a time that we actually didn't have a pet um, it all started um, i think i was like a newborn or like one year old or something and we already had two beautiful tabby cats um, then I know that we moved when I was two years old um, then we had like two really cute cats which one was like white with a reddish tail which was my favorite cat he had like two different colored um, eyes which was so beautiful I actually still have a photo of me and him together I was like three or four years old or something and he was just really such a sweet boy then we also had like a black and white cat which just my heart melts for black and white cats you guys know i do have two black and white cats myself they're already 10 years old so they are getting pretty senior <laughs> but yeah they're just the cutest but when i was younger i also grew up with like a lot of cats we had chicken we had uh, parrots we had little like parakeets we had uh what else did we have we had dogs like different dogs like dash hoons um like really really cute ones uh yeah it's just i just can't remember not having any pets you know so uh just for this world animal day i would love to hear from you guys uh what pets did you grow up or what is your favorite animal um what do you actually do to make the world a better place for animals like i try to look out for like especially cosmetic products that are vegan and seriously cruelty free i don't like using items that are not cruelty free i just think it is terrible for us people to actually feel better than animals and to just use them like they're garbage and that just it just really breaks my heart that people are able to hurt animals that bad and yeah i just i could go on ranting for hours about this and how i would wish the world would change Fortunately, a lot of my favorite brands are like for years not testing on animals anymore. So that is a big, big plus. I really, really recommend like Essence, Catrice, a lot of the um, like Dutch drugstore brands, or at least the ones are sold here in the Netherlands don't test on animals anymore. At least not the ones I use. Um, I know that there is an online like website as well that actually shares which brands still um, test on animals so if you want to check that out just google it maybe i'm able to uh, look it up for you guys and just spin it in a comment down below or something if you're interested in that 
But let's get back to the tutorial. For this last finger, I'm just going to use my black again. So I started with black on the thumb, then a brown white, then a black white, brown white, and to finish it off, a black and white cow again. I just think it's so cute. I don't know why. I just have a weak spot for cows, I guess. And yeah, I just think they are so beautiful and just so sweet. Um, yeah, let me know what do you think about this design. Is this something that you will recreate? And if so, what colors would you use? Would you go for like the traditional like black and white cows or are you more into maybe like the full on brown cows with a little bit of like white spots you could totally flip it around as well if you feel like i don't want to go like for the obvious cow print um i think it's really cute i think it is really cute to also do a design like this maybe for halloween if you're going like a cowgirl or something like that i think that could be really really cute as well but once you have applied all of these spots as many or as little as you want to that's totally up to you there are no rules to nail art in my opinion you want to make sure that everything is dry before you go in with your top coat i'm just using my old and trusty quick dry high shine by catrice or maybe it's like high shine quick dry i always mess up this name but that's okay um just go over your entire design and remember to cap off the edges and the sidewalls as well i also wanted to add two really cute like rose gold bows and i made sure to put them a little bit off center more towards the corner of the nail can you call it a corner it's not really a corner but i just applied one to my thumb and i'm going to apply the other one to my ring finger um, of course applying a good layer of top coat to all of the nails you don't want to forget that to make sure that your manicure lasts for a longer period of time but yeah, um, of course you can use any top coat of your likings. I just really like this one and I really have to use it up because I still have a ton of other top coats I need to try out and also use up. And I don't like to have like five bottles opened at once, if you know what I mean. I prefer to just have one or two top coats like different ones and just use those up and really share what I think about them. But that's a whole other story. Um, I just applied a little gold rose like metallic bow to the ring finger as well so we have a little bow on the thumb which is a black and white cow print as well as on a brown and white uh, cow print and i think both look really really cute i think it looks best on the brown and white one but yeah that's just my personal opinion i just think this entire design is super cute just make sure you wait long enough before all of your layers are completely dry before you go out and do stuff again just to prevent any like damages to your manicure and yeah i really hope you liked it let me know down in the comments below what you think would you recreate this yourself and if you have any questions don't like be scared to ask me anyways but thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video